All right, Grand Rising, everyone, and welcome back. It's Shalanda or Shea Seeking. And um, yeah, we're going to go into the book of Isaiah. All right, and again, Isaiah to me is somewhat of a chauvinistic book. Take it how you want it, but I see it as it is. It's an anti Christ book. It's an anti, sometimes it can seem like an anti American book. It's like the overthrow something, you know? Um, and so I'm sitting here skimming through and I pulled a couple of cards here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and get started because I feel like this is directly speaking to me and make me want to take a very close look. So what I'm going to do, since these chapters are pretty short, I'm going to read chapter three, 23 in the King James Version, and then I'm going to go ahead and read it in the um, Living Bible. We're going to get two different things, but I think it's going to be packed with a lot of alternative information. Again, for you to discern, all right? I feel like we in a time when people are uh, thinking that they're discerning, but really maybe, you know, listening to, you know, whatever underground energy or something. It's just a very shifty time right now. It's almost like a time, you know, to be quiet and a time to not. But for me, it's like I, I feel like in a sense, I carry that light. I am the way, the light, okay, for certain individuals. It ain't got to be you, okay? It ain't got to be you. But for me to be silent when I sense and I know that these people that are in power are trying to demolish, I like to go ahead and look at this word in a living way. It's, it's kind of like the living word. It's just like I am the word, you know, I that again, for me. OK, you can be that you can be that for you or somebody else can be that for you. But for me, it seemed like, you know, rather I'm getting smacked on the cheek or I'm being celebrated in this text. It, again, we are ancestors to a certain extent. All right. Um, now is the time we can do things differently. But we do know, again, when it comes to angels, fallen angels, messengers and things like that, that things have been altered in this text. So in looking at this in real time. In, in dealing with the living word, I'm hoping that we'll be able to, you know, see something here, okay? Because I feel like it's the sadness it makes me feel is that this is where the world gets tired of that small group of righteous ones. And what they're doing is turning everything against those people. They're putting this, uh, throwing dirt on certain people's names. They're twisting something to make it look some kind of way. And it says, if people are not listening, then don't talk anymore. But I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this is a task that I am here. Only I could do this task this way. And so again, I've been protected thus far. For me to stop now would be if these people are planning some kind of betrayal or overthrow, would be me letting them win at my own game. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go into the text. All right. Hold on one second. Let me get my tag. Okay. All right. Excuse the mess in the back. Round. Okay. So again, um, let me try to change this lighting here. Mm-mm. Okay, we're going to be a golden girl today, all right? Okay, this is kind of, okay. It is what it is. I took and put one of my stones that I collected from the lake <laughs> um, in my tea water today. I don't know, it's just something about my throat or whatever. OK, so again, I know it's kind of like being in the energy of knowing that you are a punching bag for the world regardless. You know, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. OK, so I'm going to try to stick to the the energy here, the messages, the clues that I have here. And we're going to go from there because what's going to be kind of like twisty and turvy is the fact that I'm talking bloodlines. But we all know that there's some ancestors that were good and there's some ancestors that were bad. Regardless of what color the outside of your skin is, olive tone, red, yellow, you know, black, brown, blue, green, whatever the fuck. What, it, it, everybody had the good, <clears throat> excuse me, the good and the bad, okay? So again, we talk about these things. We are ancestors to a certain extent. 
some of us embody many different DNA markers and codes or whatever. In layman's terms, we just talking. All right. And some people can see that in you, the light in you, whether that's close family and friends or whatever. There's DNA activation and things happening here. These people in this world are not going to spend time. Yes, they're doing mass, some kind of mass manipulation, right? But they're not going to spend that much time and money focusing on those of those other. Let's look at it as a kingdom, okay? When it comes to certain energies with servants. Well, this governing force, you know, is good at doing so. So it's almost like a backlash kind of you. It's kind of like that. It's like a lose, lose, win, win, some kind of situation, okay, here. But for me, in that oracle of God energy, I'm just, again, a messenger, okay? Just like anybody else is a messenger of their message. I can't help that people are upset with my message. I'm not doing it to harm anybody. I have no malicious intent. You know what I'm saying? Half the time I feel like whatever I'm doing is throwing dirt on top of me. But I feel like there is a higher purpose or something to what's going on than I even know. And that, again, if this is my offering to myself, my people, my ancestors and source. So again, I can't help if this rubs everybody the wrong way. <clears throat> I know that Satan has deceived the whole world from heaven and that nobody was excluded. And again, I'm we're always uh, always ascending, okay? <clears throat> but what, what's hurting me right now, what's making me think is that a small group of people, because they're small in number, okay, um, are under attack, okay? And these are the people, these are the individuals, the entities or um if you want to say ye are gods, right? Um, empresses, the golden children, okay? Or so-called star children that are going to be under these heavy attacks, okay? So again, everybody's journey is different, but some of us have gone through a hell of a different type of journey. It's, it's, it's different than just the regular journey where you're saying, oh, I'm a targeted individual because I, you know, talk about so-called conspiracy theories. No, there's some of us that have been actually probably touched okay by the hands of other gods or you know what i'm saying by uh alien or foreign energies that have been uh, what i mean manipul you know or or physically or i mean some some of us might have been taken up into some type of ships and probed you know what i'm saying so it's a difference they're not doing this to every single person it's not worth it like i said with slavery it wouldn't have been worth it for them to keep going back to africa to get all these so-called African people when there was so-called black people already here. <laughs> it would not, it wouldn't make sense to any merchant or any business owner. You know what I'm saying? So it had to do with something more. This whole maritime energy had to do with something more. Right? And again, we're all here today. So I don't discriminate against, you know, I just do my, I do what I do here. And I have to separate and talk about these things in a certain manner, but that doesn't mean that I feel like that somebody's life is not important because I'm talking about a certain group of people. It's just a part of the research. It, it's, it's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not, don't, don't take it personal, okay? Don't, don't take it personal. If I'm talking about Haiti or Haitians, that doesn't mean that I'm saying Haitians are bad people. But what I'm, what I'm pointing out is, again, or, or Germans, is how over time and in history, the behaviors that they've shown as groups coming in supposedly, because all of this is just alleged. It feels like we the ones that can create the new whatever. It's a legend, but we have to go back to the root of things. We have to go back to the basics to know where we're going. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do Isaiah. Um, now, this is a Lord that is spoken and it's not in all caps. OK, um, <clears throat> for me, this is making me think about somebody that is a Lord that's trying to be in a sense of God. That's trying to represent themselves as God. OK. This false representation, betrayal, like in the book of Enoch, what these women did with their hands, okay? This is with ships, okay? I'm saying censorships, relationships, your penmanship, these ships, okay? This is the things that was going on here, okay? So again, this is... Um, this is God's message concerning Jerusalem. Okay, that was 22. So we know that God was talking about, um, you know, Jerusalem when, when God is saying what is happening, where is everybody going, why are they running to the rooftops? So again, this is making me think again something about people running from someone. 
this is making me think about again two two energies a masculine and a feminine possibly that are linked up okay and they are working in the name of god saying they're representing god and they're actually not they have twisted the words of god possibly in the white house under the elodio or satanic energy unfortunately i feel that again the the energy telepathically that first in, invent that first came in at some point in time I can't lie throughout this time I was thinking is this something naturally telepathic or is this something that was sent in by the government so I had to be honest with you guys and say that okay um, because again these people that were so so called standing up for the community I was seeing something behind them that was not accurate same thing with uh, that was not matching up okay. Their intentions were not matching up with their actions or something of that nature. Also, people that were coming around, and I'm not saying people because I don't deal with nobody. I'm, you know, what I'm saying I, it's like solo for me, really. Okay, so I think that that's the that they took that as an advantage, right? And to make sure to keep people away from me or my work by limiting my numbers you know, putting a restraints or constraints on my channels by, again, same thing that Roosevelt did, I believe it was, um, when he was in office, the, the, not a mandate, but it was an act or something that he signed in to make everyday people into criminals for speaking up about certain things. So it's the same, you know what I'm saying? It's the same energy that we we're in now. And somebody else did it too in 1921. Because I was comparing 2021 to 1921 with some of these things when I was looking at who's on the coinage here. Okay? So, uh, you can see that these people have used utilized these same things over time to be able to oppress or suppress. So, is a, this is a very tricky work here. To me, it's very tricky. And we're going to go ahead and go into it. Okay? <clears throat> but before we do, I want to go ahead and pull... I'm going to pull three of these... Um, very tricky and sticky situation here, okay? I'm going to pull three of these um, Archangel Oracle cards. Because for me, it's just seemed like whatever rules these people have set up by man, when it comes to freedom of speech and all these things, whatever is the original energy, even if you want to go back to the, uh, constitu you know, pe certain people, you know, they hold on to that constitution, same way I look at the Ten Commandments, okay? And again, I, I feel like that's all we really needed. That all these laws and lies and mandates and acts and everything is just to add confusion. But it's just, you know, dang, I guess my opinion really don't matter. All right. Ways for them to violate people and charge people for unnecessary tax, unnecessarily tax people and things like this. But again, the whole structure is off. Okay. The whole thing is off. All right. And if you say something against that, then you're a problem, okay? And so, again, this is how people can go to jail or they can be jailed or they can be silenced or whatever so that these individuals can continue to do whatever they want to do to society or humanity or people without a voice because they're always doing things, um, smiling in your face all the time. They want to take your place or they're always, you know, doing something, you know, underhanded or right underneath your nose, okay? So, again, we have Archangel um, Azrael, Okay. All right, and this person is holding a child, okay? And then we also have the infinity sign here, okay? Um, again, I'm trying not to hold too many details because I feel like people do say I give, you know, and maybe I do, you know what I'm saying? But again, it's just like maybe God showing up, maybe source show and the ancestors showing off. But again, it, it's not fun. You're like, I don't want nobody to miss me when the fuck I'm gone. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like that kind of energy here. Okay. But I think that there's just a new thing and it's just, it's like, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. It's almost like, I don't know. And I feel like I have to be careful because I feel like people be trying to ease in and put little, I can, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to this seer energy or this cups energy, these queen of cups energy. All right. Okay, all I'll say is it is what it is. Because I noticed that there's something in here that said we die tomorrow, okay? Because I hear a lot of people say things like, oh, who cares about death? Who's afraid of death? Um, you know, we don't really die and all this other stuff. Maybe even, you know, like, baby kids, we don't die, we multiply. You know, I hear people say stuff like that. But, what, okay, here it is right here. You say, what's the difference for tomorrow we die, okay? The Lord Almighty has revealed to me that this sin will never be forgiven until the day you die. Okay, 
So again, this is me saying whatever somebody is saying about this energy here. All right. Somebody could misconstrue me saying it feels like I'm not going to be here or something like that. But that's not what I'm actually talking about or meaning. But, um, you know, for me, it did, for me, okay, if you say tomorrow we die, what do it matter? Well, your children, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Your children, okay? Even if you die, or if you the Messiah or you the Christ or whatever, or you, you know, the Jesus energy or something like that. You're still going to leave children behind here, Okay? But I feel like, unfortunately, I, what I'm witnessing is being a burden, seeming to be somebody that is helpful in a sense when it comes to the word and when it comes to being a healer or someone that is a seer or whatever. But it feels like people don't, you know what I'm saying? People have their own tasks. It's one big thing, like that hot air balloon book that I have in there. Okay, I don't even know. Somebody randomly sent the shit here, okay? Um, about a whole people working together. One does one thing. That's why I don't hate on people for doing what they do. Unless I see you on some old sideways shit, then whatever. But then again, that's just my opinion of what's sideways. It's up for people to discern if they want to check it out and see if this is what it is or whatever. Again, I, it is what it is, okay? But again, what's the difference for we die tomorrow or whatever? It's just like, um, well, children is going to be left here. <laughs> and then again, when we talk about like God or whatever and... You know, um, how, again, Moses wasn't able to, but children were able to go, but they took the children. I don't know if it was Moses or somebody else, but they took the children on over into whatever land, okay? But somebody wasn't able to go. And I'm just wondering, again, is was this cock blocking in some sort? So we're we just going to go through it. We're just going to go through it, okay? Because I'm, I'm feeling like I feel like it's very, I have to be very careful now because I feel like this is a thin line between something here, Okay? So I guess it says the burden of Tyre, how are ye ships of Tarshish, for it is laid waste, okay? So that there is no house, okay? No entering in from the land of Chittim. It is revealed, okay, now this was yesterday, hold on. Yeah, this was yesterday, the 23rd, okay? <clears throat> and again, so if I'm saying that, I'm saying that some of these things here could have happened 10 years ago on the 23rd of any month. We're just trying to feel out since we're in living energy, we're trying to grasp where we could be now. And again, what it might, it might correlate with things of the past as well and possibly in the future. That's just how it is. Okay. Here. All right. So again, maybe this time they won't be laid waste. Maybe this time it will. Maybe it happens exactly the same way. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe somebody need to shake something up a little bit, stir it up a little bit so that it don't happen the same time. So again, yeah, all right? <laughs> all right, so it's uh, laid waste so that there is no house, no entering from the land of Chittim. It is revealed to them, all right? Now, I don't know why Chittim makes me think about Chittim. I don't know, y'all. This make me think about some kind of initiation or some kind of something. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, hold on. Hold on. All right, y'all have to excuse me. I'm just in my house clothes right now. <laughs> I really am. House clothes be like a long skirt, pretending like it's a dress, okay? And then it's cold in here, so I got this on. All right. So, um, so yeah, and then a lot of this, I feel like, again, for some of us, or for me, I'll just speak, that I feel like somebody ha has... Um, Created a blockage or something, you know? Again, uh, I don't know. So it's like knowing somebody has like the glue or the keys or something to something. So you block off a part of their mind or something. It's just weird, y'all. Okay, whatever this is, it's just weird. Okay? And so I'm just, uh, I'm just, it's like the little engine that fucking could. You know, sometimes I be feeling slow. I do. 
But I know that, again, I can't cry about, I can't feel the same way I feel about my actions. I can't feel that same way about what people or society or governments or whatever have done to me. You know what I'm saying? All I can do is continue to do what I feel like I'm doing here. Okay? And as I do, I feel like more is open up. Okay? So again, and remember, we're talking, we're talking the originals and idols. Okay? Idol worship is going to be on the rise. Okay? And then we're talking about the original energy here. Where God got them. Okay, so where it seemed like you may not be doing well, you know, in in the game or whatever, when it comes to views or counts on YouTube or something like that, source got you. Like, I feel like there's other ways to, you know, um, connect. All right. When it's important, I guess. All right. So, again, enter, entering in from the land of Shittim or Chittim, um, it is revealed um, to them. Now, this is making me think about like a port, okay? This is making me think about like a port of, oh, why did I just say port of prince? Because it made me think about Prince Hall Freemasonry. I don't know. It made me think about uh, port of prince, okay? For some reason. And, um, huh. Why did I just say that? There is no house, no entering in. This made me think about grafting in or something of that nature. Maybe this is making me, okay, let me go with what I'm feeling or what I'm sensing. Maybe this is about some kind of tie here. And I don't know, maybe it has to do with the Creole energy. I don't know. But it's making me think about somebody supposedly entering into... Um, 